What's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to our garage gym tour. This is the hour, the darkest place. Dante's inferno, the devil's maze. It's a good world. Hit that thumbs up because we haven't done a creative b-roll in a while so it, it was a fun it fun was really fun for us to film that so yeah. but without further ado let's get into the tour so this is what the overall gym looks like this area is where we dedicate the gym space tours that way is where we park the car we only have one car at the moment so it's kind of convenient so we're gonna start over here as you can see we have this Cobra Kai flag. Um, if you've never seen the show, definitely watch it. We got it because we are kind of obsessed with it and we just thought it's a cool addition to the gym. So right here is our bench. We got it off of Amazon, um, but we don't necessarily recommend it because if you can see right there, there's a little bit of a slope for whatever reason. So it's not like flat. Um, so when you try to like bench press or do stuff, it feels a little bit awkward and weird um, But it was cheap and we're just gonna keep it for now because it does get the job done for us So next to the bench is uh, a pair of adjustable dumbbell from Bowflex We actually ordered this in November and we got it in March So it took five months like because the, everything was out of stock and on back order It took us five months to get this but this is a total game changer you know why? Because these dumbbells go from 5 pounds to 52 pounds and it's adjustable so we save a lot of space. So let me demonstrate to you guys. Let's say if I want 12 and a half, I just adjust to it and then I just lift it up like that. So instead of like, you know, having the whole row of like singular dumbbell like at the gym, we can just have a pair and we just save a lot of space. So. The key here is saving space. Next to it, we have a little basket we call things where we have our two yoga mats for us to do stretching, uh, body weight exercise, and then we also have these uh, short resistant band or people can call resistant loop for stretching or like some exercise that would require something like a tricep uh, push down or when we stretch our arm prior to workout, right? We can do all the stretching. So it's quite nice. You know, we always so we gotta stretch. When we're young, <laughs> we don't stretch, but now we do. All right, next to it is a cart. Uh, it's a utility cart that we got from Ikea. And the whole point to have this is for organizations. For we got the big dumbbell. We got these sets of lightweight from Amazon. No, this is from Target. This, this is, is Amazon. Amazon. This is old. We've had it forever. Yeah, so... It's from a little bit from everywhere, actually. From Wherever everywhere. we could find it during the pandemic. Yeah, pretty much. These were hot commodities. But we store everything here and it's on wheel. So whenever we need to move it, we could. Quite easy. We also have more resistant band. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, and we have the uh, bigger resistant band, the longer, the standard one here. So I usually, you know, before we have the weights, we can use this to do like bicep curl and all of that. So yeah. All right, here on the bottom uh, shelf is where we store our pulley system. So it's uh, for us to attach to our uh, squat rack to do uh, any kind of like um, pulling exercise so like bicep curl and anything like that 
um, is you know is replace one of those machines at the gym, so it's quite useful. And obviously, we also use a garage as storage space, so this is kind of inevitable, but you know, just ignore it. <laughs> so moving on over here, we have a little area where we just kind of throw random stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. We have Hui's belt, and then we have, oops, what is this called? It's just a pad. Pad to help when like we do like hip thrusts, yep. basically to cover the uh, barbell. So moving on to this side, which is the most exciting part because we love weightlifting. And we got a bunch of stuff from all over the place. This bar is from Rep Fitness, both of these. This is a 45 pound and then this is a 15 pound. Um, and then as you can see, all our weights are also from Rep Fitness, except these ones over here. We got some small random ones from OfferUp. Yeah, from OfferUp because they didn't have any in stock, which was weird. Also, we have these clips. What are these called? Yeah, co uh, weight clips. Weight clips, which has been a game changer. Um, we got this off of Amazon. I don't know if you guys been to the gym and they usually have those like metal ones, which like are really hard to, like I can never get those things on and off. This is so good. And then we have more resistance bands over here. These are the larger ones, longer ones that we use to do like um, assisted pull-ups or like if we want to do like a band row, which will transition into here, which is our PRX folding squat rack. Now this is a game changer because obviously you can see you can push it into the wall and then when we want to use it, let's see if I can do this smoothly, you just pull it out of the wall like so. <laughs> and the squat rack come with a multi uh, grip so you can do chin up or you can also do pull up yeah and you're supposed to do it the other way yeah because yeah. <laughs> i love where you do that redo that redo that okay so if you do it this way yeah if i do it properly this way it looks like this there we go and um, I'm sure some of you guys have already saw the ads for this company on Instagram or Facebook or social media in general. And overall the quality is really good. It feels sturdy and um, we have no concern about it. And it has been really fun uh, working out and using this squat rack. Also, if you guys haven't checked out our other video where we actually set up the whole entire thing, go check that out. We talk a little bit more in, in depth, I guess, about the installation. the installation and then about the floors that we use and fun stuff like that. Um, but overall, our thoughts about the PRX system is that it's great. When we have friends over and we need extra parking space, we literally just push it against the wall and we can fit another car here, which has been you know, it's the great. whole point. <laughs> yeah, it's a saving space. Yeah. So it's like you can use the space for parking, but you mm -hmm. can use it for uh, working out. Yeah. And we think it's like one of the best investments that we ever made in because, you know, when we go to the gym, you have to wait for a squat rack usually when it's crowded. And especially mm -hmm. now with COVID, like you have to wear a mask inside the mask. gym and you have to like spend time like uh, cleaning the equipment after mm -hmm. you're done using. So it's like a lot of time wasting and just the time that we save from and the gas from not driving to the gym. Yep. Yeah, and then the gym is right here, so we have no excuse yeah, to like not, not working work out. And we've actually been consistently working out at least five to six times a week because it's right here. But yeah, that's it. We we love our home gym. If you uh, if you guys have any questions, let us know down below. Yep. And if you're thinking about getting the PRX performance like squat rack, we do highly recommend it. Ten out of ten for sure. Yep. With that said, we're gonna end this video right here. If you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe to our channel and last but not least don't forget to keep winning, winning at, at life. life see you next video bye, bye.